Hi, I'm Sherry Hansen. Thanks for joining us on the Virgus Show. I'm here with Justin Helmke, Fire Chief of the Virgus Fire Department, Fire and Rescue. Thanks, Justin, for joining us today. Absolutely. Yeah, what we just got done seeing, and you're going to be seeing as we go throughout this clip, is a training exercise, one of many that um, your men do. And so why don't you just run me through the whole thing and, and the purpose of some of your training? Uh, basically, what we did this evening is uh, what they call a cold water rescue. Um, different situations, fall, spring, you know, when the ice is either coming on or going off. Fishermen, animals, you know, whatever it might be. Just, we had one just the other year, you know, not too many years ago where there was uh, somebody that went through the ice. So it's a very real thing. Actually, one of our firemen actually went <laughs> through the ice. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a reality. It happens every year, so... And so what, you're, what we're doing here tonight now then is you're training your rescue squad and so it's like a live call coming in. Yeah, what we do is, is uh, we run the rescue on an exercise like this because they generally, you know, on a, on a water rescue you don't have a lot of time. So those are going to be your people that you need, whether it's uh, they're on the rescue squad or the fire department. So we use, we train them both so they're both familiar, you know, the whole crew. And so start to finish, what did they do here tonight, Justin? Uh, basically what you saw was we rolled up. Um, we got the call that there was a couple victims out on the water, out on the ice. Um, and what you saw was our, our special rescue truck that basically uh, confined space, uh, water rescue, wild land, whatever, mm -hmm. kind of our all-around rescue truck. But um, basically what you saw is they deployed guys in suits uh, we have two different kind of suits we have like a gumby suit which is like a foam which would be like the red ones you see you can kind of see them floating down there but anyways that's that was the first suits we got um, we have three of those and then we've got two what they call a mustang suit which is a little bit lighter a little bit easier to work with it's not so clumsy and awkward um, and so what we did is basically we deploy on the way out here guys are getting ready suited up so when they get here that they can go right into the water and and uh, deploy our we've got a they call it a rescue live which is basically a it, it floats you can skid it across the ice you can pull on it with a rope and it, it comes in and it floats and that'll carry two people so basically you can run out there grab a person and pull them up on there and then they're of course everybody in a suit and the sled are all hooked to somebody on land so when they say pull you pull them up and they'll either skid right across the ice or you'll see on on the one back here you could see where he was busting through on the way back um, and that's you know obviously that's that's, that's the reality that's the reality <laughs> it doesn't go smooth so no. One, one thing I noticed, Justin, with working with it is um, how trained all of your people are. I mean, it was teamwork. Um, they, they knew what to do. Um, how much training does it take um, when you decide that you want to become a member of the Virgus Fire and Rescue Squad? There's a, a, to be a fireman, there's a fair amount. Um, you're looking at 100 and, we'll say, between us and, and your training and everything a year, you're probably looking at 200 hours your first year so you can be qualified. Um, become a fireman, firefighter one, and then if you want to be a first responder, also you, you know there's another 42 hours um, you can throw into the mix. So it's it's a pretty big commitment right off the bat. And then over the year, you know the whole department. I think last year we put in 750 hours, man hours of training. So it's you know it's a fairly good commitment, but. Well, and the thing that I keep thinking about, too, when I think of the Virgus um, Fire and Rescue, it's the volunteer fire and rescue, isn't it? Can yes, it is. <laughs> um, yeah, you're 24-7, you know, 365. You're on call when you carry a pager yeah. day and night. That's a huge commitment, and if nobody ever thanks you, I'm doing it publicly right now because it just really impresses me what the time and the training that you guys put into this. And and um, and just when you get those calls, I mean, everybody's ready to go. I, I grew up in a fireman family. My dad was a fireman and, yep. and brother and, and now my son. And so I understand the commitment, but I really commend you. Um, are you looking for firemen? Absolutely. Um, we're actually about four short right now. We've had some we've had some people retire that have been on for 36, 38 years. You've you know. lost a lot of experience in the last few years, haven't yeah, we, you, with that retiring? I think in the last two years, we've lost 175 years. Uh. So, you know, that's that's we've lost a lot, but we've gained uh, four new members here in the last year. So, I mean, it, you know, it comes and goes, and you're going to have turnover, and that's you know. That's part of the game. Um, if they if they're interested at all, who you know, would they come talk to? Just any one of the firemen? Do they come talk to you? Do they come to a meeting? Yeah, if you know a fireman, and you want to be a part of it. You can talk to him and or her, and they'll get you in contact with me. Yeah. 
way. Absolutely. Now, when we talked about tonight and, and showed all the different equipment, tell me a little bit about that, Justin, how you guys obtain the equipment that is needed to maintain the status and the, and the, the caliber that you guys are at. A lot of, uh, lately, I, let's say in the last six, eight years, FEMA has been a pretty big mm -hmm. part. But, of course, you got tax money, donations. Um, you know, we buy a lot of equipment with 100% uh, donations, a lot of trucks with 100% donation, you know, pancake feeds, spaghetti feeds, banquets, you know. We kind of do a lot of stuff. And, and there's just people that send in money that just want to cool. want to help the fire department, which, you know, we appreciate it. It gives us good equipment to work with and we can get our job done. Yeah. Do you ever hear that? That I mean, can you ever get in a fire department or a rescue um, department? You can never get too much equipment. You know, I've heard a lot of people say, well, geez, what do you need that for? And it's like, you know, all it takes is once, and that piece of equipment is priceless. Um, you, ne you just never know until you're in that situation where you need that piece of equipment and you don't have it. How many people do you have on the in the department right now? Do you know offhand, Justin? We have 20 firemen on the department, and uh, I would say with rescue, we've probably got 26. Okay, and then how many trucks? I, that's always a question I know people are asking. <laughs> um, we've got three big trucks. We've got a pumper. Uh, tanker pumper, another tanker, and then we've got our main rescue, which would be like the rescue squad mm -hmm. truck that carries a set of jaws and like car accident stuff. And then we've got another rescue truck that's basically a uh, mutual aid truck, car accident truck that carries another set of jaws um, and rescue jacks and stuff for vehicle accidents. Then we've got uh, um, our special rescue truck and we've got two grass rigs mm -hmm. and a four wheeler you know for grass fires and sure. stuff like that well, yeah we're in the grass fire season aren't we yes we are <laughs> yep well justin i really appreciate you letting us come here tonight and see what the training process is with the fire and rescue squad um hopefully we didn't get in the way too much but i mean and, and it's thankfully this isn't a real thing but it's just really nice to know that you guys are doing the training and you are at that point where anything that happens you're ready to tackle it yeah, we appreciate you coming out. You know, anytime we'd, we'd love to have you. And if you, you know, got any questions or anything. But yeah, it's, you know, if we didn't train and we didn't have the dollars for training, we wouldn't be able to be able to help. And that's kind of defeats the purpose. So. It does. Well, thanks for joining us on the Virgus Show. Next time you see one of the firemen around, be sure and thank them because they're an integral part of our community. Thank you. All right. Have a good day in Virgus.